Hey everybody, this is Greg from Safe Ride for Kids, where our mission is to help you make every arrival a safe arrival for every member of your family, including your unborn children. Today, we are just going to show you really quickly, how do you know when your child has either outgrown a small ride safer vest or outgrown the large? There are two sizes of the vest. There's a small that ranges from 30 to 60 pounds and a large that goes from 50 to 80. But as you all know, there's no one size or shape of child. So weight is a really hard measure of how to measure uh, if it fits correctly or not. So what we're going to look at is we're here with Sienna and she's going to help us show you that the ride safer is intended for this flap. This part of the vest here that holds the lap portion of the seatbelt is intended to be on the tops of the thighs. So as the child gets bigger and taller, their shoulders are going to be lifting the vest so that this portion of the vest is no longer lying on the legs. It's actually up here in the air or on the abdomen. That is incorrect fit and that's when you know that they've either outgrown the small or the large. Is as this part of the vest starts to lift up off the lap and become um, more vertical and is no longer resting on the lap. The reason for that is children's hip bones are not as developed as our adult hip bones are. So by the vest keeping the lap portion of the vehicle seat belt down here on the thighs, in a crash, that's going to do the best job of applying the principle of child restraints that says we want to contact the strongest points of the body with the restraint mechanism. And in this case, that's the vehicle seatbelt. So this vest is clearly too small. We're going to switch vests or uh, switch vests and we'll be right back. Okay, and we're back with Sienna now wearing the large vest, which does fit her correctly. What we see here is that the lap portion of the ride safer vest is sitting and would hold the seatbelt flat on her hips. The shoulder belt guide here is gonna hold this, the shoulder belt mid chest, mid shoulder. And it's okay if there's a little bit of gap here in the shoulder because the ride safer vest in this capacity of using a lap and shoulder seatbelt is going to be a seatbelt positioning device in the same category as a booster seat. A booster seat works by lifting the child so that they fit the seatbelt. The ride safer vest simply brings the seatbelt down to them. So you can see here, the shoulder belt will be held, held mid chest, mid shoulder. The lap portion will be flat on the hips. That's a correct fit. So as she gets taller and bigger, we'll see that the, the shoulder starts to lift the lap flap. And uh, that's when we'll know that she'll uh, outgrow the large. So thanks for watching today. And remember that safety is about putting the odds in your favor.